So good morning. Here's a question for you. How do you disseminate all this information that's thrown at you all the time? We live in a world be, with technology and all where we're just bombarded constantly. And it's also a world that doesn't believe there's mostly doesn't believe that there's a foundational truth except for the the different religions or faith there's a very large percentage of people especially people who have the media that uh that believe truth changes changes over time well as a you know as a believer we we don't believe that and and, uh, and if you're gonna have a confidence in yourself and a comfort uh in the midst of all this uh you're, a strong faith you have to rely on the truth. And for the Christian, the truth is the Word of God. And, and what I found in my life is when I decided that that was true for me, that's what that's the foundation I lived my life on. It changed everything for me. And it, it gave me more of a confidence, uh, a comfort in knowing that no matter what somebody says to me or questions, I know what the truth is. And, and no matter uh, if I can really explain or not, I also have to realize that people who don't believe and don't have the spirit in their life, they don't, they don't understand. So you just have to have a comfort in that. Let me start off with a prayer this morning. Father in heaven, today may we keep your name holy above every other name. May we serve you above everything else. Would you um, give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Father, forgive us for our sins and, and point out the sins we need to ask forgiveness for. And Lord, uh, may we forgive those who hurt us instantly so we're better and not bitter. Would you protect us from the negative influences and temptations in our life? And, and um, Lord, today we'll give you glory for every single thing that happens, good or bad, because we know you want what's best for us. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. So here's the verse for today. It's from Colossians 2, 8 through 10. Listen, listen to this. It's very powerful, I think. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense that come from human thinking. Remember, Scripture says, I'm God, you don't think like I do. And from the spiritual powers of this world, rather from Christ. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. And what's, what's cool about that is the world can be saying things against us or different from us or not believe what we believe and we can still feel fulfillment and feel confident in that. Verse 10, so you also are complete, you're complete, you're whole through your union with Christ, who is the head over every ruler and authority. So the truth is the truth, the Bible, the Word of God is the truth, and Christ has authority over all. Those are two powerful things to have on your side as a Christian, and, and what that allows you to do is to be humble and to be loving and to be caring. And, and I really believe that, that the people that are angry, mean Christians are the ones that don't have an understanding of the strength. Uh, I have found in my life that the people that are masters are comfortable in who they are. And, and that's how it is as we learn to master our faith. And it's an ongoing thing. Here's my prayer for today. You are my guide. Dear Heavenly Father, you are my guide. I will seek love, joy, contentment, purpose, and fulfillment, and humility in Christ. Thank you for making me complete in Christ. The role model for my character and passion will be Jesus. I pray that through Jesus I will have the power to represent you and obey you well. <clears throat> no matter what happens today, I will seek my fulfillment in you. I will listen to all around me and with your truth and your spirit as my filter, I will choose your wisdom over the worlds. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, that's my devotional for Thursday, April the 6th. I hope you're encouraged. Uh, I look forward to reading your comments and replying to them. Please uh, pass this on to others that need encouragement. I will see you tomorrow, the good Lord will, and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God, love people, change the world, and God does start with you.